we want to solve the matrix equation AX equals B for the matrix X given matrix A and matrix B. Let's first outline our steps that we'll use to solve for X over here on the right. If we have AX equals B, we want to isolate the matrix X. To do this, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by A inverse. But remember, matrix multiplication is not commutative. So on the left side, if we have A inverse times A times X equals, we must have A inverse times B on the right. And we know that A inverse times A is equal to the identity matrix I. So we have I times X equals A inverse times B. The identity matrix times matrix X is just going to give us matrix X. So matrix X equals A inverse times B. So now let's solve the equation using the given matrices. So we have matrix A times matrix X equals matrix B. Now for the next step, we want to find the inverse of matrix A. If matrix A is in this form here, and matrix A is invertible, meaning it does have an inverse, then we can find A inverse using this formula here, where A inverse equals one divided by the quantity AD minus BC times this matrix here, where notice how to form this matrix we interchange the position of elements A and D and change the sign of the elements B and C. So if this is matrix A, then A inverse is gonna be equal to one divided by, again, the quantity AD minus BC, which in this case would be four times zero, which is zero, minus one times negative one. So we have zero minus negative one times the two by two matrix where we interchange the positions of the four and the zero. So we'd have a zero here and a four here. And we change the signs of these two elements. So we have negative one, positive one. So simplifying, notice that here we just have one divided by one which equals one. So A inverse is just a two by two matrix where the first row was zero, negative one, and the second row was one, four. So going back to our equation, on the left side, we're going to have A inverse, which again is this matrix here, times matrix A, which is here, times matrix X equals, on the left, A inverse times B. So there's A inverse times matrix B. Now remember on the left, this is A inverse times A, which will give us a two by two identity matrix. So on the left we have the identity matrix I times X equals on the right. We need to find the product of these two matrices. Again, we have a two by two times a two by two. So because the number of columns of the first matrix equals the number of rows of the second matrix, of course, the multiplication is possible, and the dimensions of the product is a two by two. So to find the element in row one, column one of the product, which would be a sub one comma one, we multiply the first row from the first matrix and the first column from the second matrix. Remember, we always use rows from the first matrix and columns from the second matrix. So we'd have zero times 22 plus negative one times negative four, which equals zero plus four or four. Now we'll find the element in row one, column two, or a sub one, comma two. So we multiply the first row from the first matrix and the second column from the second matrix. So we have zero times 17 plus negative one times negative five, which equals positive five. Now let's find a sub two comma one, the element in row two column one. Now we multiply the second row from the first matrix and the first column from the second matrix. So we have one times 22 plus four times negative four. 
So we have 22 plus negative 16, which is positive 6. And finally, we have a sub 2 comma 2, which is the element in row 2, column 2. So we multiply row 2 from the first matrix and column 2 from the second matrix. So we have 1 times 17 plus 4 times negative 5, which is 17 plus negative 20, or negative. And the identity matrix times matrix X is equal to matrix X. So this is our solution. I hope you found this helpful.